I want to ask you some questions, and you can be like, "Oliver, I'm not going to tell you that like you did earlier." But I just, I, I just, I just want to know what your what did your marriage and medicine contract look like? Because I know about the grandfather contracts from like years ago, before you know reality TV picked up, marriage and medicine became a thing. So you know, I know what the old ones speak on, but I'm curious to know what do what do the new ones speak on? If you care to share, Esquire. Um, are you talking about? What, what the number was? Yes, basically. Okay. <laughs> basically. <laughs> so I will say this. <clears throat> it was paid, what, per episode. Mm -hmm. And I will say it was um, less than what both me and my husband make separately. An uh, episode or a year for like a whole season? For the whole season. Okay. It was significantly less than what me and my husband make individually. Okay. And it was, but it was, I mean, it was decent. It was decent. It was decent, but it doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't cover what you put into the season. Like uh, a black girl's hair and a black girl's makeup. And all this stuff is expensive. Mm -hmm. And and I, I had to pay for it. You know what I mean? Like, they don't pay for your glam. I mean, they give you what? Like a little, um, uh, I think they give you like a $500 like thing, like every month for that or something. But like $500, that doesn't even cover my hair for like one time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and so, um, what if the question is like was i compensated for what i put into the show in my opinion no did your compensation per episode change once you got changed from main cast member to friend of no it didn't it was okay. still based on the per episode right which yeah. guys out there watching me having done reality tv that's usually how you get paid it's per episode yeah. you know it's not like you get this big check for the season no as you right. appear episodes they pay you um yeah, and the checks and the checks i didn't like how the checks were given either because i think i got like one check during filming and then i didn't get a check until like way after like after 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 the season had aired I, um after we had done film after we were done with uh filming like the regular season yeah i got like one so we filmed from like beginning of October until maybe like <laughs> beginning of February. Mm -hmm. I got one check in between the October and February. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's just not how I'm used to being paid. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> Did they start paying you once the episode started airing as you were appearing in them? I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, typically, that's typically what they do because you know, they edit, sometimes they edit up until that very episode and sometimes yes. they don't know if you're going to be in it or not. And then once they know that you're in it, you, they'll go ahead and issue right. um, the payment. That's how WeTV did us when I was over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was shocked by that. I didn't know that. And so mm -hmm. I was kind of like, y'all being fun with, funny with my check? Like, what? <laughs> like, what's going on? Because you know? uh -huh. when you put a lot of stuff into, you know, I expect payment. I'm an attorney. Mm -hmm. So it's like, first of all, I don't even work for free off the bat. But then I, I did that before, but not currently in my life. You know what I mean? So it was a little odd. As a lawyer, what is your take on the contract you were given by Bravo to be a cast member of Married to Medicine? Um, you know, I tried to do a little negotiating at the beginning, but I honestly had like nothing to stand on because again, I had like 800 followers that were people that I personally knew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I couldn't, I couldn't be like, oh, I'm going to come and like turn your show around and be the star, you know? I couldn't say that. And so um, it was pretty standard. The only thing that I like negotiated out was that um, if I continued to do seasons that I wouldn't abide by the same contract, that I would have the opportunity to renegotiate every Mark. season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, 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 very smart. And to anyone who's out there watching, um, y'all know I've done reality TV. Anyone who's on... Anyone who's going to do reality TV, the original contract will say this is like the contract that will be the, you know, this is the contract for your entire time. As many yeah. times as you do. It's A-OK. A-OK, do not be afraid to say you just want a one-season contract that says I have the option to 
renegotiate if you guys ask me back for additional seasons right. because I remember my first reality TV contract locked me in um at a rate which is kind of like the reality TV standard I mean I'll you know I'll say it I'll go ahead and say it because I mean it wasn't the rate that I ended up with but it was 1500 and if I would have kept doing seasons over that WeTV I only could have gotten like I think I don't know why my brain right now is saying 5%. Don't quote me, but like the per yeah. season increase was nothing. Like, I, right. if just the show would have been on season 10, I still wouldn't have been making anything. That's so what it's I'm saying. Okay to negotiate. Like, yes, exactly. I was like, I'm not going to be locked into something like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that, that's, it's just not wise. Did you make money from appearing on the show directly I mean, or indirectly? I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Not really, actually, kind of, not really, because I missed a lot of work. And if I'm missing work, I'm missing the money from my job mm -hmm. that pays me more. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, not really. No, I got you. I got you. Okay.